In the meantime, nearly a year after the discovery of a man shot and killed in his car on Spokane's Lower South Hill, detectives believe they've cracked the case. Now two men are in jail tonight, charged with first degree murder. Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk's been looking into the case that police describe as a targeted attack. Well, court documents show the mother of one of the suspects identified her own son. Detectives needed her help since their main witness died of a fentanyl overdose this summer. 253 pages of court documents reveal how phone records, Facebook messages, and witnesses led Spokane police to two gang members now charged with murder. Last New Year's Eve, gunshots rang out in the parking lot of the Parkview Apartments near 7th and Perry. They ended with 42-year-old Carlos Thomas shot multiple times in his parked Mercedes. Doctors pronounced him dead minutes after arriving at the hospital. Carlos lived in his car and occasionally slept on a friend's couch at the apartment complex. According to court documents, that friend also knew the suspects and told police he saw one of them, 30-year-old Elijah Harvey, standing next to the victim's car holding a gun. Your Honor, this is Elijah Harvey. Harvey, who also goes by Dopey, appeared in court Thursday, nearly one year after the deadly shooting. His friend, 27-year-old Taco Bay, is also in jail, charged with first-degree murder. According to court documents, the two took off in a Kia after the shooting and ditched the car near Minnehaha Park. Police found it the next day. The witness, who police say originally identified Harvey, died in July of a fentanyl overdose, but the investigation continued and police say Harvey's own mother identified her son in surveillance video captured moments after the shooting. According to court documents, she told detectives her son broke into her apartment last December wearing only underwear and shoes, saying he needed to get rid of everything because it had blood on it. Harvey's mom told police her son is a liar, thinks he's invincible and smarter than the police, and can't function in society, according to court documents. Several residents at the Parkview Apartments told detectives Carlos was trying to clean up problems there and stood up to gang members, a decision they believe cost him his life. And Harvey's being held on $1 million bond. The second man arrested for the murder is expected to appear in court tomorrow. In the studio, Kyle Simchuk, Kremtu News.